T'was the night before go live when all through the office, no computer was stirring, the release delivered as promised. The upgrades were done on the servers with care in hopes that the research admins would like the software. Submitted items sent off auto replies. We resolved all your issues. Please give them a try. No new bugs were invalidated as the analysts went to rest. Developers were sleeping curled up in their desks. Nicole donned her kerchief and I my cap, leaning back on her chairs for a long winter's nap. When in my office there arose such a clatter, they sprang up from their cubes to come see what was the matter. Away to my office, they flew like a flash, tore past my assistants and threw up the sash. When what to their wondering eyes did appear but a red Mini Cooper led by eight support engineers. Seeing a little old driver from where they stood, they knew in a moment it must be Roger Wood. He spoke not a word, but went straight to work, pulled up an s to s proposal, then turned with a jerk. With a wink of his eye and a click of his mouth, it seemed that this item could be reproduced in-house. With a snap of his fingers and a click of his toes, he gave a nod through the window as he wiggled his nose. He sprang from his car so his team wouldn't fret and asked them to do an IIS reset. Galloping through the snow, more saviors they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Jacob, now Kayla, and Boston, and Brett, on Patrick, on Kenny, on Jeffrey, on Matt. From the top of the desk, then to the top of the cloud, now dash away, dash away, dash away now. They all flew away to hand patch production. I thought it was over, but there was one last eruption. It took a budget jiggle to make it all right. I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy holidays to all and to all a good night.